Sí. Barras en todas tus batallas escritas. Papo cagón, soy la mascota de mi mascota. Good evening, teacher. Hello, students. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. It's a pleasure to be here with you again okay. in another class. <laughs> How was your day? It was very good. Very good. Hey, that's nice. Your... It was nice tiding with a lot of traffic, but it was good. It was and nice. Good evening, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We had we had a lot of traffic in hot weather, people. I don't know. Good, good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening. Good evening. I sí. felt like in Semana Santa, yes. Okay. <laughs> Creo que escuchaba una historia. Today was good. Money, money, money. Ah no. I I get pay on the on the third. <laughs> A mí hasta el tres me pa. <laughs> yeah, many people were very happy, right? Like, it's all about the money, money, money. <laughs> it was good. Everyone well, is running behind the money, right? <laughs> yeah, everybody's running behind. Yeah, but it's it's like, it is always necessary, right? It is always, always necessary. Yeah. Well, my dear students, today I sent you a very interesting question on the chat that if you could change your name or your nationality, you could do it, yes or no. And many of you were saying, no, I am happy with my name. I love my country. I love this. I love that. So I was, I was listening to many of your, of your stories and it is very curious, right? Because I thought many of you will say, I see, yo me lo cambio. But no, you are, you are happy with the name that you have. Are you named by a family member? Are you named after a family member? ¿Les pusieron su nombre después de un miembro de la familia? Or what is the story behind? What is the story behind your name? In my case, uh -huh. me, in my case, my father chose my name. He chose and your name, uh -huh. Yeah. And I don't have uh, nobody with, with that th same name. With the same name. There is no another Edgar in your family. No. And nor Abel as well. <laughs> okay, good. What is the story of the rest of you? Teacher, uh, yeah. my name is Raul de Jesus. Um, um, de Jesus, uh, because I I built in the month uh, of January. Okay. And then January is uh, is close is is close to the um, to the the Mary, uh -huh. the, the 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 Christmas. The friends um, close from uh -huh. Christmas, uh huh. And and because uh, I built a uh, uh, close the the Christmas, uh, that's why my mother called me uh, the Jesus. Okay, and so you Raul, were born. The, you say I was born. Uh, I was born uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, close the the Christmas, and that's uh, why my mother called me uh, the Jesus. The Jesus. Um, Raul, because uh, uh, it's um, it's, uh, I think uh, it's a um, uh, a nice name. It's a nice name. <laughs> okay, but you don't have a family member called Raul. Uh, no, in uh -huh. my in my family, I I am the only one. You are the only Raúl. Okay, good. So in my case, for example, my grandmother it's called uh, Evelia. That's the name of my grandmother. But my father said, "Uy, no, that's a very hard name for a kid," and they call me Evelyn instead of that. And I was mm -hmm. like, "But it's because of my grandmother and Natalie, because my father is a huge fan of Julio Iglesias." And he has a song called Natalie. And that's why I got Evelyn Natalie, because my father decided to remember the song with me. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's the story behind my name. I like it. Evelyn, I think it's the, the angry one. It's the, and Natalie is the cool one. But that's the story. What about the rest? But did, and... you, like, but did you like your name? <laughs> yes and no. 
<laughs> I don't really, I don't really like Evelyn because I consider that it's for an angry girl. Right? Yo lo siento que es como para una mujer bien brava, bien enojada. And so when I do the exams, Evelyn is the one. But when I am teaching, it's Teacher, Natalie. <laughs> if you, if you call to to change your name, how did you call? How how will I call? How will I be called? Um, I I don't really know. That's something that I have never thought about. I think, well, I think I will keep it. I will keep Evelyn because of my grandmother, right? But I don't know, yeah, some, uh, something like uh, Francesca or something like that. I like a name for you. Uh -huh. uh, I like a name for you. May my find you uh, huh? Marta. Marta is <laughs> Marta. a good name for you. Marta, Mar Marta Natalie. <laughs> that would be cool. Or, or Marcela. Marcela, como Marcela Valencia. Oh. La mala de Betty. <laughs> hey, I love that. I love Marcela. That's cool. That's good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Very good. Natasha, I would say. <laughs> like Russian. There you go. Thank you very much. This was very nice point. I have never thought about it, but good. What about Edson? Where does your name come from? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Um, in my case, my name is the uh, Brazil. It's from Brazil, uh huh. Yes, Edson is the Ray Pelé. Oh, okay. <laughs> interesting. That's pretty interesting. You see, we learn something every day, right? We learn yeah, because, something because my father is a, a what do you say? Fan or... uh, it's a fan, uh -huh. it's a fan it's of a fan. it's a fan of the, the of, Pelé. Pelé. of Pelé, correct. Wow, that's pretty <laughs> awesome, right? Now you see, I learned something new today. I, Very good I'm, job. Um, uh -huh. I I love my name. Yeah, but I, I like it because it's good. <laughs> I like it, yes. What about Isabo? What about Isabo? What where does your name come from? My name from of India. Uh huh. And my mom, I love name. Uh, I I saw my name in the in the movie. Oh. Isabel, okay. Like, like. okay. So it comes from a movie, an Indian movie. Okay. Let me see another yeah. curious name that I have here. Uh, Jeremia Ezequiel. Where does your name come from? Mr. Jeremias. Hello. Hi. Hey. I'm driving tonight. My goodness. Okay, be careful. Don't tell us later. Después nos manda el chat ahí el significado de su nombre, de dónde viene. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, what about Jancy? Jancy Astrid. Okay, teacher. Um, the history, my name is, is simple. My mother, she, here, listening. The name uh -huh. and she she like uh, gave me that this name. Okay, that so name. she like it and she got it, right? Yes, that's pretty awesome, right? She liked the name and she gave it to you. Nice, very good. So uh, this one, I was I was using this part of the class to introduce a little bit of the topic of the day. As I send you there, uh, les envié. Eh, dos links acerca de eh, la unidad. So please keep an eye on that. It, keep, it has meaning and also it has a little bit of the explanation uh, of the things in the unit. But uh, this is the topic that we were going to cover today. Wish. I wish that I lived in a big house. I wish that I had more money. I wish that I had a Ferrari. I wish that I had three cats, right? Things that you wish you had. And here we have a couple of examples. I wish that I live in a big house in the countryside, right? And as you can see here, we have in the negative form, she wishes, she wishes that she didn't live in a small apartment in the city. What about these sentences that I have here? I wish that I lived in a big house in the countryside. They wish they, how do you make the negatives? Didn't, didn't have in the normal form of the verb, right? Didn't in the normal form of the didn't. verb. They wish they. They wish they. 
didn't have it. They wish they didn't have a test today. It's like, I know. I wish I didn't have a test today. Okay, el verbo queda en su forma normal después del negativo porque aquí usamos did. Okay, so John wishes that he. He doesn't know. How do you use it? In the affirmative sentence, you only use no. the past no. tense of he the verb. No. That he, he knew. 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 No. How, How to speak Spanish. How to speak Spanish. He no. knew. Knew, 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 knew. He knew how to speak Spanish, right? He wished he knew how to speak Spanish, right? Here, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and also with the text. Okay, he wishes he knew how to speak Spanish. It's raining. I wish I lived in Tokyo. <laughs> I wish I lived in Tokyo. No, it's raining. I wish it's raining. Uh, I wish didn't have I didn't have to. I didn't have to, right? Didn't. I, I, I didn't, didn't have to. to. I now. didn't have to go outside now, right? And I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. Okay, for you to see it. Oh, I didn't man. have to go outside now. My I friend didn't. wishes he lived in Tokyo. Tokyo. Do you wish you live in Tokyo? No. It's too crowded, right? I visit. I, sorry, I wish that my neighbors didn't make. Didn't make. Didn't make. Make so much, so much, so much noise. noise. Yes. Okay, that they are like boom, 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 boom all the time, right? <laughs> I wish that my neighbors didn't make so much noise. I am sorry. I wish I like like like. Liked I wish chocolate. I like chocolate, but I don't. Where are you from? <laughs> she, I like... lived, she lived. In... <laughs> he lives in, in, in Mars or in Saturn or in another country or in another universe because I don't know. I like this restaurant. I wish that we okay. came more often. Yeah, more often. My teacher wishes I arrived. <laughs> it's like, mm, okay. My teacher wishes I didn't arrive late for classes. And the last one, I have never seen snow. I wish it. I wish snow. it snowed. It's snowed. It's snowed in Florida. In Florida, in Florida. Right? But we haven't seen snow and we haven't checked it. So here, I have a couple of examples on the book, and this is what I mentioned yesterday. Common wishes that people have. Common wishes that people have about their lives. To add more hours to every day. Do you wish you could add more hours to every day? Yeah. Sometimes. Almost 30 hours. Almost 30 hours. You'll <laughs> be like, I know. <laughs> you should work more. And it's like, <laughs> no. Sometimes. Sometimes it's necessary, right? When you yeah, are enjoying it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. On, on vacations, for example. I yeah. wish vacations were longer. Vacations for the vacation. Do you wish you could change your appearance? No, I don't. No? No. No. If you could change something about your body, what will it be? Uh huh. Some people say, I wish I could change my nose or my eyes or my cheek or my finger or my stomach or whatever. Would you like to change something about yourself? Or you are okay with every single piece of your body? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> so much. <laughs> with the stomach. <laughs> yeah. And everybody's like, mm, well, <laughs> let me think. <laughs> I would like to be uh, taller. Taller, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's a problem. Let me tell you. It is a big problem. I am a very tall woman. I am, uh, well, 1.75. And. Uh, uh, teacher. Yeah. Uh, uh, um... Uh, I wish to change. Uh, I wish to 
to change um, uh, a little, a little my mouth. Uh, Your mouth. Because I, I see, yes, my huh? mouth. Uh, I wish to have a mouth uh, a little more is, is smiling because I'm I'm more serious <laughs> and then people, the people, uh, people uh, when they uh, when they uh, look at me. Uh, people they think that I am uh, angry. But ah, I don't. okay. Serious. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but that is that is a matter then, of then, uh, expression. I, I, uh -huh, uh, I really uh, is smiling. <laughs> okay, to change your expressions, right? That's that's good. Yes, yes but okay. a little bit. A little bit. Okay, so Jenny says that uh, she wishes she could uh, she could be taller, right? <laughs> What is your what is your height? What is your size? Uh, one point um, fifty five. One point fifty five. So you are like well, but you are like the normal average Salvadorian, normal. right? Good <laughs> average. So yeah, and and I was telling you that it's a problem because I am a tall woman, and in some cases you are like, ay que alta, and I was like. Yes, I am. I am. Many people think that it is easy. For example, on the bus, uh, I am like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I, I don't fit here. <laughs> or when, when you need to go on very short spaces, you have to be like, <laughs> because you don't fit. So it's like pros and cons, right? Being short or being too tall. Okay, what else do you wish you could change? Jenny says that her size, uh, Jesus says that uh, the expressions what would you like to change? Mm -hmm. Sandrita, tell us. La veo que me quiere contar. Go ahead. Uh, my nails. Your nails? Why? <laughs> Is, um, how do you say quebradiza las uñas? <laughs> ah, they are too fragile. They are too fragile. fragile. It's like, click. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a problem, right? That's a problem. The nails, very good. Who else? Mr. I wish Seth? change uh -huh. my heart. <laughs> ah, uh, your, your heart. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> you wish you could change your heart. Okay, good. Mr. Cesar, what would you like to change about yourself? Or you are okay with? I would like to change my, my head. Your head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. More space for knowledge. Don't worry. More space for knowledge. Joanna? I would like to change my hair. Your hair? Why? Yeah, my hair is is curly. Um, yeah, but now it's very famous. Now it's in. Oh, está bien de moda, so take advantage of it. Teach, teacher. Uh -huh. Will be uh, I wish the the change. Yeah, the traffic in the Salvador. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish I could fly. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, so it is. Yeah, I, I wish, I wish I could change some, uh, uh, some things about the 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 workplace. For example, to stay at home some days and to go to the office other days, right? To do home office some days and to go to the office different days. So that would help a little bit, right? Si las oficinas fueran algunos días presencial, algunos días virtual, that would be different for the traffic. But now, hmm, my goodness, it's crazy. Yes, it's terrible. Would you like to go back to school, people? Would you like to go back to school, to high school? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 To, go yes, to, to go to the cafeteria yes, and ask yes. and ask for what a churrito. I miss I miss the, the pupusa in, in, in back. Yeah, in <laughs> the pupusa, <laughs> the pupusas in, in with the curtido we, and the sauce the, in the back. We were happy. <laughs> we were happy and we didn't appreciate that. You see? Hmm? We were happy in school. Yeah, and we didn't know that. Yes. We, we didn't cool. know. <laughs> and we didn't know. Would you like to get a different job? Mm. <laughs> no one I would like to be a pilot teacher. <laughs> I would like to be a pilot. Well, I would like to be a veterinarian. Get something. 
<laughs> get, yeah, we need to get it. We need to get an, a different job, right? To get one first, says Karen. <laughs> yeah, we need to get it first and then we need to change it. Okay, if you, if you didn't have the job that you have right now, which one would you like to have? Si no tuvieran ese que tienen ahorita o cuál es el que quisieran tener? What would be the perfect job for you? Uh -huh. Go I ahead. I would like to work in automatization. Oh, okay. Of, of processes, of what? Or what? Yeah, process. Okay. Uh, working on programming and process. Very good. Who else? I would like to be a te English, English teacher. For sure, I could get you there in the academy <laughs> to be a, an English teacher. Well, you can do it. You can still do it. Don't worry, right? Keep preparing. Si se sigue preparando, lo logra. Good, very good. Let me know. I may am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so like, teacher, I'm ready. <laughs> Come, I would say. Are good. you going to give me a job? For sure, I will. Oh. I, oh, will. I will, I will, I will. I really love to train new teachers in their first job because okay. it, it is pretty nice so let me know let's see who else what would you like to be if you were not what you are right now job in cyber security oh cyber security hey that's nice yeah. it's a very cool job definitely is it in, in training or in, ahorita <laughs> Oh, nice. Wow. Hey, follow your dream. If you are doing it, follow it. That's so nice. Congratulations, my dear. Continue working on that, okay? Si ya lo está logrando, no pare. Siga adelante. That's pretty awesome. Very nice, Karencita. Let me see. Would you like to enjoy life more? ¿Te gustaría disfrutar un poco más de la vida? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Of go course. for parties. Yes. Go for no. parties. <laughs> to go to party. I don't remember <laughs> when was the last time that I went to a party. I don't remember. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> to go to the beach a little more often. That's something that I would really love. Don't cry. Don't yeah. cry, teacher. Don't cry. <laughs> to yeah. travel around the world. To travel around the world. Yeah, I had the chance to travel last year, but I will do it again, for sure. To become healthier. Would you like to become healthier? Estar más yeah. saludable? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I think everybody. <laughs> and to make new friends, I don't have to complain about it, right? Yo ya hice como 60 en un mes. <laughs> to have new friends, you see? Because I didn't know you before, and now I do, and now I consider you part of my friends and family. So that's pretty awesome, right? I have more friends now. Good. And so I have here a short conversation, and I need you to help me to read it. Okay, help me to read the conversation. The first one says, so what are you working now, Terry? Oh, I am still at the bank. Oh, oh I'm right. still at the bank. I don't like right. it. So, I don't like so, it though. What is the meaning of this? I don't no, like it though. No, like it's like, you. a pesar que no, me gusta. I don't like it though. Me gusta. Okay, it says like, oh, oh, I'm still at the bank. I don't like it though. It's like, aunque no me gusta, right? I don't like it though, but I don't have an option, right? That's too bad, why not? Well, it's boring. Well, it's, it's boring. boring. It doesn't pay very well. It doesn't pay very well. I know what you mean. I don't like my job either. I wish I could find a better job. Actually, I don't want to work anymore. I wish I had a lot of money, so I could retire now. I could work How old are you, Terry? Um, mm -hmm. 26. 26, right? He wants to retire right now. It's like, mm, yeah, right. Sit down. <laughs> Please. Teacher, so, yes? I have a question. Why the word uh, do is at the end of the sentences and not at the beginning? Very good. So in this case, you use it to emphasize what you just said. La usamos para enfatizar lo que acabamos de decir. So you say, 
are you going to go to the movies? Ah, I wanted to go, but I'm tired though. It was like, it's something that you use at the end for you to emphasize what you just say. In this case, it says, I am still at the bank. Okay, sigo en el banco. I don't like it though. A pesar de que, no me gusta. Okay, so in this case, it is at the end because you emphasize what you mentioned. And it's to make sure that they get the idea that you are not okay with what you mentioned, right? So you say like, why are you still there? Um, yeah, it's like, you know, it's a good relationship. Tiring though. So you use it to make it clear. It's like, ah, pesar de tal cosa. But anyway, it's like in Spanish cuando decimos, ah, pero ni modo. <laughs> you use it at the end of the sentence. So this is the meaning of though. It's like, mm, though, I don't like it though. A pesar de que no me gusta. But I am doing it. So that's why it goes at the end. Okay. Thank you, teacher. So you're welcome. And in this one, he says, okay, you start and I continue now. Go ahead. One, two, and three. So, so, so what are you working, working now? now? You're working, working now. now. Terry. 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 Teacher. <laughs> so, are you working now, Terry? Um, <laughs> I'm still at the bank. I don't like it, though. That's, That's too bad. bad. Why, Why not? not? Why not? Why not? Well, it's boring and it doesn't pay well. I know I what, know what you mean. mean. I don't I like, don't my, like job my job. I don't like my job. I wish I got a job. I got a job. I don't like my job either. Right? I don't like my job either. I don't like my job either. I don't want to work and I don't want to work at all anymore. I wish I had a lot of money so I could retire now. Mm. How old are you? How old are you? 26. <laughs> I want to retire now because I am retired. Ya estoy re cansada. I am retired. <laughs> so that's why that's why I want to retire now. Okay. Let's continue here. So this is the grammar that I was just explaining to you. The wish. I don't like my job. I wish that I could find a better job. I wish I work somewhere else. I live with my parents. I wish I lived in my own apartment. I wish I didn't live with my parents. Life is difficult. I wish it were easier. I wish it weren't so difficult. Give me a solution. I have no money. I wish. Uh-huh. I wish. I could. I, I don't have money. Better, a better job. <laughs> I wish I had a better job. I wish I had more money. I wish I wish, I wish won the lottery. lottery. I wish I won the lottery. <laughs> that would be fantastic. I wish I won the lottery, right? You know, I don't have any pet. Hmm. I don't have any pet. Give me a solution. I wish adopted. I no. wish I adopted what? A cat, a dog, a rat, a dog. a dog. Good. Let's see. I don't have a computer. I wish. I wish the wish the type the I bought a uh, computer. I, I, <laughs> okay. I wish <laughs> I had a tablet, right? I wish I had a tablet, right? In this case. When you have, for example, in the case of where, I wish I were, right? After wish, we where is used with I, he, she, and it. It says like, she is not my friend. I wish she were my friend, right? You use it with I, with he, with she, and with it. I wish she were my friend, but she is not, right? I have here a couple of situations and I need you to choose two and give me the complete answer, right? My class is boring. I wish I had a different teacher. Hmm. <laughs> that can be an example, right? I need you to choose two and create two sentences on your notebook. Go ahead, choose two and create two sentences with the answer using wish. Go ahead. Escribanlas en su cuaderno y después las leemos. Go ahead.
Okay, whenever you're ready, raise your hand, please, to let me know that you finished. Cuando terminen, levanten su manita para que ya me cuenta que ya terminó. Okay, on the platform, please. Thank you, Cesar. Thank you, Alejandra. Ahí dejen la levantadita, please. We're going to get volunteers in a moment. Write two sentences, okay? Two sentences. If you finish, raise your hand on the platform. Thank you very much. Thank you, Edson. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you, Edgar. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Ever. Good, very good. So I am going to start with Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel, can you give me your examples? Yes, um, I, which class is boring? Uh-huh. I wish. Um, class is boring. Uh-huh. What is the wish that you have about it? Uh, it's boring uh, for um, methodology or uh, apprendi. Okay, but in that case you say, I wish it were different, more active, more interactive. Interactive. Okay, I wish I practice I more. Wish. I, it could be, teacher, I wish my class were more interesting. Okay, I wish my class were more interesting. Good, very good. And there you have uh, the example right here. I wish my class were more interesting. What about uh, Edson? Can you give me your example? The one answer, teacher. Okay, you can give me the two of them. It's okay. The two? Yes. Okay. Uh, I have to take the bus to work every day. Uh -huh. I, I wish the, the change a uh, car. Okay. I have to take the bus to work every day. I wish I, I have. Wish, I wish had. I the, wish I have. I wish I had the change a car. Okay, in that case, you say, I have to take the bus every day. I wish I had a car. I desearía tener un carro. I oh. wish I had a car. The next one? The, the second one? The third. Okay, uh-huh. The next example. Uh, okay. Our uh, apartment is too uh, small. Uh-huh. Uh, I wish the huge apartment. Okay. I wish it were bigger. I wish it were bigger. Wish. Cuando decimos it uh, were, nos referimos al apartamento. I wish it were bigger. bigger. Ah, okay. Okay, correct it, please. Edgar, okay. give me your two examples. Okay. Uh, I don't have any free time. Uh -huh. I wish I, I had a plenty time. Okay, I wish I had plenty of time. I wish I had plenty of time. <laughs> Another example? And the second one, I have to take a, a bus to work every day. I wish I had a, a car. I wish I had a car. Very good job. Cesar Guadalupe, what is your example? Mr. Cesar, go ahead. Our apartment is too small. I wish we got a big house. I wish we got a big house. Good. Very good job. Our what about apartment is too small. I wish we was. I, wish I don't we... have any time. Any uh -huh. time. I wish I had vacation during one month. <laughs> Me too. I wish I had vacations during one month. 
for sure. <laughs> I will love that. <laughs> Let's see, Alejandra, what is your example? Um, I am not I in We shall uh, have vacation during one month. <laughs> I, wi I wish I had a month of vacation as well. <laughs> Alejandra, tell us. Okay. Uh, I am not in a good state. I wish I could go to the gym. I wish I could go to the gym. Very good. What about the next one? Um, I have to take the bus to work every day. I wish I had a pick up of the year. <laughs> yeah, me too. I wish I had a high look, <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> okay, I wish I had a pick up. Okay, very good job. Uh, what about, teacher, yes? I wish I were uh, married. Oh, it's really? No, it's the, the number six. Uh -huh. I wish I were married. Uh, I'm single. I wish I were married. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wow. Okay, what about the next <laughs> one? It, it, it's, it's correct, teacher. Yeah, it's correct. I wish I were married. Oh, yes, it's correct. that's good. I am single. I wish uh, I were married. Hey, and many people who are married, they say, I wish I were single. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do it. No, I'm kidding. It's good. Married. I wish were married. I wish I were. I wish I were. Ever, give me your examples. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I have to take the bus to work every day. I wish I had a car. I wish I had a car. Yes, very good job. Uh, I have too much hard work. I wish I had nothing. <laughs> I wish I had nothing to do, right? Definitely. Yeah. And I am giving you more homework. Oh my God. It's like, I teach it for <laughs> English homework is English. very good teacher. Yeah, yeah. English homework is nice, right? That, that's yeah. <laughs> good. Very good. Joanna, give me your examples. The microphone, sweetie. Joanita, the microphone. Nos está dando el secreto de la vida. There you go. <laughs> Our apartment is too small. I wish I had a bigger apartment. Very good. Uh, I don't have enough money. I wish I had a better job. I or wish I uh -huh. a bigger business. A bigger business or a better job. Very good job. Jenny Elizabeth. Um, I have too much homework. I wish I had much time to do it. Okay. And I wish it were easier to finish quickly. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I wish it were easier to finish quickly, right? Very good job. Very good answers. Eduardo Jose? I don't have any free time. I wish I was a kid again. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Me too. I wish I were. I wish I were a kid again. And? I'm single. I wish I were in a day show TV. <laughs> in a day show TV. Yeah. Like like the, the your soulmate, right? Good. Very good. Very good answers, right? I am I don't have any free time. I think you use all of them, right? You use all of the examples. Very nice. So thanks to this that you use all the examples that we have here, I have here a couple of questions. And I need you to think about this ones. Okay. What languages, what languages do you wish you understood? What languages do you wish you understood and why? So you say, I wish I understood and you give me the language. What languages do you wish you understood and why? I Anybody? Chinese or Cantonese? Uh, Chinese, Chinese. Chinese. So you say, I wish I could understand Chinese. What about the other one? <laughs> I wish I, I could understood uh, Latin. Latin, I wish I could. Okay, si ya usamos could, ese sería ya como el verbo en pasado. I wish I could understand Latin. Okay, I wish I could understand Latin ever. Teacher, una, una, una pregunta, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, what language do you wish you understood? But está en pasado, enten, entender. Uh -huh. Yeah, Ver but in pasado. 
Entonces okay. sería qué, qué idioma eh, desearía haber aprendido. O... Ok, it says, what languages do you wish you understood? ¿Cuáles quisiera entender? Ok, what languages do you wish you understood? Because in the answer you are going to change this one to the past tense. You say like, I wish I could understand uh, French. Or I wish I understood French in this case. This is the past tense in this case. Just the past tense of the verb. Right, for you, when you switch it to the I wish, I wish I understood French. Yo eh, desearía entender. But the structure of the sentence is in past. So you need to keep it in past. Okay? So that's why it says understood. What languages do you wish you understood? ¿Cuáles quisiera entender? In this case, I wish I understood the Japanese or Chinese. Right? What about you? I wish I understood or I wish I could understand and you give me the language. Which ones? Don't tell I me wish, English. <laughs> I wish I understood uh -huh. uh, Portuguese. Portuguese, okay. I wish I understood Portuguese. Good. I understood Portuguese. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. A few words as well. Okay, so you are trying to try I to... wish I understood I understood French. French, okay. French. Parle vous français. English. English. Comment ça va? Ah, ça va bien et toi? Ah, ça va. Ça va bien. Parle vous français? Parle vous un peu. Un peu. Just a little bit. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, Ampu, it's just come see, come see. <laughs> you see, ever very good job. He speaks French. You see, uh, the, the joke of English, it's like, oh, I'm sorry. Can you speak English? No, I'm sorry. I don't understand the English. I wish I could, but I can't. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't speak English. I'm sorry. In English. It's like, no way, right? Don't tell me that you don't understand English. The next one, the next example that I have here. Do you wish you own a pet fish? Do you wish you own a pet fish? ¿Quisieran tener un pescado? ¿De mascota? No. no? I, I have a fish, but uh, today I don't, I don't wish uh, to have a fish because... Uh, they die. <laughs> they die. Easy. They die easily, right? They die easily. <laughs> they just like oh, pescadito, pescadito. They die. <laughs> so it, it is like it's very bad. <laughs> Sorry. Do you wish you had a bigger house, or do you wish you live in a bigger house? Yes or no? In a bigger house. No, I don't. <laughs> more cleaning I yeah. wish to live in a bigger house in a bigger house you wish to live with in a, a bigger pool house with a, with a jar that would be fantastic right <laughs> do you wish you had a different car I do wish you... I had a car <laughs> 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 uh, that's the first thing right I wish I had a car and then yes. a different car <laughs> Maybe in my dreams. <laughs> yeah, well, the one with the high looks, we, <laughs> we can say like, yeah. alguien por aquí quería un pickup, I don't remember. Who Alejandra. Was. Alejandra wants a pickup. So, you see, I wish I had a pickup first and then I wish I could change it. Good. So, these are some of the phrases that you can use or some of the questions that you can use in order to uh, put the topic into practice, right? Here, I have, for example, I wish I could change my job. Really? Yes, I would like to be a musician. A musician? Yeah, I would like to play the guitar in a rock band. Would you like to be a famous artist, people? Yes, no, and why? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. So if you would like to be a famous artist, what will be your area of fame what will be your area 
why will you be famous? For singing, for playing the guitar, Sing. for what would be your... I would like to be famous for singing and playing the guitar. Okay, singing and playing yeah. the guitar. Yeah, like Ed Sheeran. I would <laughs> like to be a, a famous uh, writer. Writer, okay, a famous writer, right? Good, very good. Any other one? Would you like to be an actor or an actress? I would like to be an actress. A painter. A painter, good. A famous painter. I would like to be the bat batteries. How do you say? Uh -huh, yeah, the batteries. Batteries. Okay, you would like to be a batteries in a rock band? Yes. <laughs> that, would be, that would be fantastic, <laughs> right? That would be fantastic. So that was the part of the wishes. And here on the reading that I told you yesterday to give a quick look, it says dreams can come true. And do you know anyone who made a big change in his or her lifestyle? And here we have one example. And it says, at the age of 40, Tom Blutch was the head of H&R Block, a huge company that helps people prepare their taxes form. He was very successful. Although Blutch earned a lot of money, he wasn't very happy. He has spent too much time at work and he didn't have enough time to spend with his family. Suddenly he felt, he left, sorry, at H&R Block and became a teacher in a poor neighborhood. I wanted to help people, he says. I wanted to help people eh, who didn't have opportunities I had, he explained. Learning to control the students was hard at first, but the rewards, helping children and hearing students say, He's their favorite teacher are great. And Blotch is able to spend more time with his family. Here you have teacher Tom Blotch with his students, right? So his dream was to help and he got it. Let's see. The next one. The next one here, it says. We have the second story of the Neil family. In this one, it says, for 11 years, Tom Neal worked as a lawyer and his wife, Mel, worked as a teacher. They saved every penny they could. Finally, they had enough money to buy a boat. That was 17 years ago. And except for occasional stops, they have been at sea ever since. For the Neals and their two daughters, the difficulties of their lifestyle are very real. There is not much money, so meals are often rice and beans and fish. Storms are dangerous, especially when the boat is far from land. But Tom Neal says overcoming dangers together as a family is one of the rewards of their way of life. Another, he says, is seeing the starfish at the bottom of the sea in the moonlight. So two different types of wishes. Do you have questions about vocabulary on the first paragraph? What is the meaning of suddenly? Suddenly, de repente. Suddenly. What is tax form? The tax form is what you present to Ministerio de Hacienda. The taxes, los impuestos. Another one? Any other question? The repeat, uh, suddenly, teacher. Suddenly, de repente. De repente. Suddenly, mm -hmm. it changed. You say, like, all of a sudden, suddenly. Thank okay, you. another one? Rewards. Rewards. It's what you get, uh, for example, when you do something good, you get a reward. It's like, um, like a prize. Recompensa. Recompensa, exactly like that. Teacher. Yep. Uh, I don't understand a um, phrase. Uh, it says um, learning to control the student was hard at first. At first, right? Learning to control the students was hard at first. It was difficult. Exactly like that, right? It was difficult at first, right? Learning to control the students, like, ah, right? Ah. Learning to control the group, 
that was difficult mm -hmm. at first. Okay, any other question? But the rewards. The rewards, pero las recompensas, helping reward, children. Ah, rewards. Helping children rewards. and hearing mm -hmm. students say, he's their favorite teacher, are great. Okay, nothing else? Princess. And let's go to the second paragraph then. What about this one? What is the starfish? The starfish, las estrellas de mar. Like Patricio, <laughs> the starfish. That's why he's called Patrick Starfish. Any other one? I have a question of a yep. phrase, teacher. Yep. The phrase is, they have been at sea ever since. Okay, han estado en el mar desde entonces. They have been at sea ever since. Because okay. it says, uh, that they bought a boat, right? That was 17 years ago. And except for occasional stops, they have been at sea ever since. 17 years ago, right? They bought the boat 17 years ago and they have been at the ocean for all this time. Any other question? What is the meaning? Niels. The Niels, that's the last name of the family. Es el apellido de ellos. The ah, Neil okay. family. Yeah, that's the last <laughs> okay. name. Any other question? Don't hesitate. Si tienen alguna duda, si ven alguna pregunta, una palabra nueva. So try to ask questions. If you don't know, ask questions. Teacher, uh -huh. uh, Tom Neil says overcoming danger, dangers. Overcoming, overcoming. dangers. Dangers. Overcoming dangers together as a family is one of the rewards of their way of life. It's like superar los peligros como familia, juntos como familia. Overcoming is superar, okay? Lograr, vencer. That's the meaning of overcoming. Overcoming dangers together as a family is one of the rewards of their way of life. That's the meaning of that, okay? No more questions? Yes, no? Talk now no. or keep silence forever. Okay, good. So, Please, teacher. I am going to call it right now. I am going to call the attendance. What they do now, what was the difficulty and what was the reward? Okay, I need you to get these three points about the first story, what they do now, what was the difficult part and what is the reward? And about the news, what do they do now? What is the difficulty and what is the reward? Okay. Give me these three answers. Uh, Tom Block. Uh huh. Watch. Tom Block. He's a teacher. Uh huh. He's a teacher now. Uh, the difficulty. I don't know. I think he lost the rewards. And uh, the reward now is uh, when the student. When the students say. When the student says that he is the best teacher. When the students say that he is their favorite teacher, right? So that is the way they are doing it, right? The difficulties was to learn to control the students, right? That was the difficulty. Mm -hmm. What about the Niels? What do they do now? They live where? They live in the sea. They stay at the sea. Okay, they are at the sea. sea. Very good. They have been at the sea ever since. What about it, the difficulty? A, yes? They, they are pirates now. <laughs> yeah, they are pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, they live in the ocean. What about the difficulty? What was the difficulty? Uh, they are overcoming dangers together. They are overcoming dangers Storms. together. Good, very good. Storms. And difficulties at the ocean. And what is the reward? They are together as a family. Okay, they are together as a family. I will stop sharing right now because I am going to call the attendance and then we're going to finish with the last thing of the day. Okay, here, Alejandra Beatriz. Here, teacher. Thank you. Cecilia de Los Angeles. Here, teacher. 
César Guadalupe. César. Ok, let me just make it. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Give Here. me a second. Thank you, Mr. Edgar Abel. Thank you very much. I'm here, I'm here teacher. Edson Stanley. I'm here, teacher. Eduardo José. Present teacher. Elvira. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Ever Ernesto. Present teacher. Isabel. Present teacher. Jenny Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jeremia Ezequiel. Was driving. <laughs> Joana Yesenia. Present teacher. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. And uh, Jose Fernando. I have a present in the chat. Okay, good. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Katherine Alejandra. Present teacher. Miguel Angel. Present. Thank you. And ever present, says. Very good. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Let me continue here. Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Raúl de Jesús. Raúlito. Uh, present teacher. Reina Elizabeth. Thank you, Reina. Samuel Isaac. Present teacher. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. And Jancy Astrid. I am here, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, very nice. Thank you all for answering the attendance. That was very good. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay, let's just go over the last thing I'm going to explain before we leave because we are about to leave, don't worry. And here we have the three parts of this one. What do you think, what do you think made a more difficult, uh, okay, sorry, who do you think make a more difficult life change? The uh, Tom, I mean, Tom Bludge or the Niels? Which one do you consider is the most difficult change? Tom Niels. Bludge. <laughs> because of, <laughs> he's a teacher now. <laughs> Okay, would you like to be one of the Neil's children? Would you like to be in this family of the Neil's in the ocean? I would like. You would like to be there. Would you yeah. like would you like to change your lifestyle, people? Yes or no? Yes. To to make a huge change and to say like, no, I will I will do something different now. And to to go and live in El Mahawal. That would be fantastic. <laughs> I will do that. So tomorrow, my dear students, we are going to talk about different types of food, different types of cuisine during, around the world. And we are going to talk about uh, different things that you have done in your life. We are going to talk about present perfect, right? Present perfect is the topic that we are going to be talking about tomorrow in a very common thing about present perfect is the have you ever. Have you ever? And then you make different questions. So we are going to be talking about cooking procedures. We are going to talk about different types of food and different types of cuisine from around the world. So that will be tomorrow. Have a wonderful day tomorrow. Have a wonderful night today. And I will see you tomorrow for another class. Bye-bye. Tomorrow. 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 T